Hey guys, Meteor World, it's Chris Tomer here on this Friday, and it's going to be a powder day across parts of the Wasatch. Look at Alta up there in Little Cottonwood Canyon, working on five, six inches of snow here. So this little initial storm system is producing this morning. I had mentioned the possibility of a three to six inch swath, but this storm really flying under the radar um, the last couple of days. It, there's another storm behind this one that actually looks more impressive, but this one is producing this morning. Let me take you over to Big Cottonwood. There's the snow coming down. This is Solitude, and it is going to be a great day up there at Solitude, Brighton, Alta, and Snowbird. Powder Friday. All right, let's look at radar. So this is the uh, radar out of the west. And, okay, a couple of things to mention. There's your snow diving down out of uh, Idaho down into Utah, the Wasatch, the Hyowin is, and eventually this is going to, going to pivot down into Colorado this afternoon. Second storm system is just now moving on shore into parts of California. That one does have atmospheric river moisture with it. I'll show you that in a second. So one storm in the interior, second storm just now moving on shore. Radar out of Salt Lake, so I've got a nice westerly flow helping to crank out the orographic snowfall this morning. We could still see another inch or two of accumulation easily out of this. So we could end up with six plus in uh, some of these spots in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon. Pretty amazing to see this thing. Here's the lay of the land on water vapor satellite imagery. So drier air aloft, oranges and reds. Your moisture is in your whites and your blues. And right there is our little storm system, the initial storm, bigger one behind it. Another one behind that. Now, these ripples of low pressure are riding the jet. Both will move in, but it's this storm right here that's going to hit California with uh, atmospheric river moisture. Here it is. The integrated vapor transport forecast, you can see it coming in this afternoon, tonight, and tomorrow with a spike, a surge of weak to moderate atmospheric river moisture. That will translate into heavy snow accumulation from Mammoth to Tahoe up towards... Um, parts of Shasta. And then that little third storm, you can see the little kink right there, potentially some weak AR 1617. Here's my timeline, best odds of snow here for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, Interior, BC, and the Northeast. So for example, Wasatch, you've got it. It's happening now, light to moderate accumulations, and then moderate 1214 into 1215. So that's, that's going to keep the powder coming this weekend. And then another shot, maybe some light snow on 1216. Um, in Colorado, light this afternoon and tonight, light accumulations, light on 15 and light on 17. I've got several dates of snow accumulation for interior BC. I'm not going to go through all these, but it's great to see that. Okay, let me just take you back to Alta. Forecast mediagram, this particular model. So here's Friday the 13th. Today being Friday the 13th. How about that? Um, but this does indicate some additional snowfall, and this is finally picking up on it. Yesterday, this particular model didn't have anything, even though I was showing you that the humidity was sky high uh, and the winds were obviously up to 30, 35 miles per hour. It just, did, for whatever reason, it didn't crank it out. But it still has some residual snow finally here today. And then the next shot comes in on 14 into 15, and this accumulates about five, six inches of snow out of that. So the weekend, we're going to keep the powder coming to a lot of the Wasatch. The numbers today, the high temps, um, Teens to about 20 tomorrow, a little bit warmer with upper 20s, and then colder on Sunday with single digits and teens. Okay, let me take you back. Let me show you Colorado. Let's, uh, let's, let's drill down a little bit in Colorado. So interesting thing happening in, the, in my forecast, um, in the extended forecast, for a lot of the northern mountains, especially up around Steamboat, Rabbit Ears Pass, Buff Pass, I think we could see two or three good shots of moisture, and you can kind of see it. This is the relative humidity forecast, a slice through the atmosphere, all the layers, time height forecast here. Over the next 72 to 80 hours, you can see the timeline at the bottom there. You read that from right to left. So this is Mount Werner up in Steamboat. You can see a good shot of uh, higher humidity values um, coming in late 13 into 14, and then another one coming in. 15 into early 16. And then there's another one after that. So two or three good shots, and there's decent depth to this. They're brief shots of moisture, but there's some lift here. I think we could crank out some decent snow accumulation across 
the northern mountains and all those places I mentioned. Now, here's a contrast. So let me take you to Snowmass. A lot less moisture. You can immediately see that there's less green. There's Mount Werner, and here is Snowmass. A lot less green. Less snow accumulation in my forecast, but still going to be some. There's still going to be a little bit of accumulation at snow mass. In fact, here's what I'm thinking, uh, and I agree with this particular forecast. So by the time we get to this afternoon, cranks out about one or two inches, and then maybe another inch um, between late 14 and the 15. And it might be a little bit more than what's shown here. It could be two out of two inches out of both of these. So two out of the first and two out of the second with you know, totals around four. We'll see. Um, let me just show you the jet forecast. So by close of business today, you can see the initial storm system just sliding through Colorado and Wyoming at that point. This next storm is building off the coast. That's the one with the AR moisture. <clears throat> There's another one behind that. Here we are on Saturday. So that brings the storm into California and starts to move it um, through the interior into Utah and Colorado. Next storm, and then look to the Pacific. A little bit of ridging happening across the west here through 19 and 20. Another storm system right there. We'll have to see how that plays out. Okay, let me just show you what the, uh, the forecast radar and the satellite look like. So, all right, here we go. By this afternoon at 530, um, there's your little bit of snow over Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. The initial storm will be uh, racing out pretty fast. Next storm is big. You can see it hitting the west coast with ample areas of snow all the way from BC through the Cascades down into the Sierra. All right, here's Saturday morning, heavy snow west coast starting to overrun parts of the interior of BC and Idaho. Idaho's in for a pretty healthy shot of snow as well. And so are the Tetons because look at the flow right over the top of the Tetons here starting on Saturday afternoon. Look at the heavy snow on the back side of this thing through a lot of the, uh, the Sierra. Snow just affecting the, uh, the Wasatch here and the Hyuenas and then eventually building into Colorado right there, especially the central and northern mountains. But look at the snow continuing moderate to heavy over the top of the Teton. Some good snow through Idaho and parts of Montana, still snowing in the Wasatch. And then that storm uh, starts to slide away, a little bit of wraparound snow. Look at the snow coming out with that northwest flow over parts of Steamboat, Buff Pass, and Rabbit Ears. That's why, you know, I think with that persistent type of northwest flow and rotation, we could crank out some good snow in those areas and that goes away but here comes the next storm and look what happens between 16 and 17 another shot of some snow for the uh, for the wasatch the tetons idaho and look at the rotation down over the top of the central and northern mountains of colorado and then that slides on by and then the whole flow here with some high pressure ridging starts to shift up into bc and the pacific northwest so the storm track does shift and things do uh, calm down across the lower 48 eventually. But the next five days look pretty good. Here are my numbers. So all of today through tomorrow, some pretty good numbers over parts of the Sierra. Could see 1 to 2 feet for Tahoe, um, 8 to 10 through Mammoth, but that number will be going up. Um, potentially 3 feet up over the top of Shasta, 8 to 16 for a lot of the Pacific Northwest, 2 or 3 over the Wasatch of additional snow accumulation, um, one or two inches over Colorado, four to six over the Tetons, and look at Sun Valley and Brundage, eight to 12 inches. Um, good stuff. And a lot of the snow you see that falls in Revel, Stoke, and Interior, BC happens on the 14th into the 15th. Okay, here is the second time period. So this is the 15th through the 17th, all of the 15th, 16th, and 17th. Another four to eight there over the top of the Wasatch, so some good powder all the way through the weekend. In Colorado, you can see what I'm talking about. Look at the number, the numbers over the northern mountains, potentially 8 to 12 inches of accumulation from Cameron Pass all the way back over the Gore Range and over uh, parts of Rabbit Ears, Steamboat, Mount Werner, and Buff Pass, so a good healthy flow right there. Interior BC, 4 to 8 inches, potentially another foot for the Pacific Northwest. All right, final time period is 1218 through 1222, and this is when the pattern shifts back to the north and favors BC, a lot of the northern tier in Canada, with only light snow accumulation and some high pressure ridging in the lower 48. Okay, let's go to the northeast. So 1213 through 1222, there are a couple of storm systems, but it's possible, and I 
I should have maybe mentioned this at the, with the timeline. In the northeast, you could have rain and snow on 1217 and then potentially heavy snow on 1220 and 1221. So the mix on 1217 does cut into accumulations. You can see the numbers here. Um, potentially higher numbers over Mount Washington, but um, they're on the lighter side because of that mix. And there's still some lake effect to be had up around Snow Ridge early on. Um, but the storm system on... Um, 1220 and 1221. Obviously, that's way down the road, but it's a storm system to watch. Okay, let's end on the last two maps for the West. So this is all of today through tomorrow, and then all of the 15th through the 17th. So we've still got two or three storm systems to go across the West, guys. Appreciate you tuning in here on this Friday the 13th. Take care and have a great day.